Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? What can I do you Why? for? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. <laughs> Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. What so the we're gonna go around collecting debts, huh? Kill them. It's very bad for business. Individuals that owe the gang money are marked on the map. Seek out the debtors and recover the money. We'll throw it in the tithing box. He says not to kill him, so we're gonna have to intimidate him, beat him up, that sort of thing, but uh, not kill him, so. Should be kind of fun. Looking forward to this. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Well, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. What you got here, sir? Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nice. Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Cool. Indian tobacco is used to craft items that replenish dead eye. Use a campfire well, to craft the Indian tobacco. If you're interested, I best keep moving. It's kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. Nice of that guy to teach us something new. But uh, it's time to go collect a little bit of money, baby. We put money in the, the gang's bank account. That's just going to keep paying us back. So we're really doing ourselves a favor here. Slow up now. Got to search the area to find the debtor and reclaim the debt. Excuse me, miss. Sir, madam, whoever knock, you are. Knock, Mr. Robe. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me, uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. I'll Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh -huh. uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. <laughs> I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. You know that name. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Uh, well, no, I have nothing. Is very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is he? Oh, oh, no. No. Nye, nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. I mean, I feel kind of bad about this, but... God damn it! You have a debt to Harris Strauss. Pay up. We gotta do what we gotta do. Stop! You stay, I'm Shiwi. He's spent. Give me my money, boy. Uh, no, 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 no! Please, no! Uh, don't have money, but but to have this. It's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable, it's, it's Warsaw, yes. Dude, this makes me kind of sad. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. So I can take anything I want. I do feel pretty bad about this, but I mean... The longer I look, the madder I get. He owes us the money. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. Like at the end of the day, it is his fault. We we can't be too 
too sorry for him. Don't even speak English. We can't even take anything else, dude. Gotta be something somewhere. I'm worried he's gonna get up some funky stuff and end up running or something. You must have come here with something. Nothing in the wardrobe. No drawer on the bedside table. What about the, the little cabinet here? Little chest at the end of the bed. Coin purse. Two dollars and twenty-one cents isn't gonna get you very far, but gotta start somewhere. Silver earrings. I need I must eat that's successfully been recovered. Okay, that should about cover things. I'll see you later, sir. Return debt to the camp funds or collect another one. Dude, I do feel kind of bad about it. Just being the rough and tough, mean guy, but... I mean... Let's go. Somebody's gotta get paid. And it's gonna be us. Who's there? Just me again, Bill. Keep doing a good job on the lookout, though. Hey, Arthur. All, right. Fish All good? So we're back. The camp's got 70 bucks in it right now, but we're going to add a little bit more to that pile. Good work so far. Right here. Give all debts. Heck yeah, and we got a little share of ours. Use a ledger to purchase a camp upgrade. Let me see what we could do. Front page of the ledger says recent co contributions to the camp funds from all companions. Browse the next page to view upgrades. So we can upgrade the medicine wagon for $24. I think we definitely want to purchase that. Okay. Medicine wagon's been upgraded. I know we need the medicine wagon upgraded twice to be able to to up our How did you get on Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder. Robo. Satchel. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. <laughs> I know. I know. It looks like Dutch has got a mission for us next. Let's see what he's Dutch? up to. Miss O'Shea? Well... <laughs> Feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. <laughs> Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. 
My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. It's time for a prison on, break, son. baby. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. <laughs> Look at his little pony, bro. That's a tiny horse. Homie, we need to... We need to upgrade that thing for you. Alright, we're gonna ride to the Valentine Saloon. Actually, hold up. Give me a sec. What are you doing? We need to, uh... We need to give our... Give our girl some stuff here. We're gonna go horse. Um... How do we give them... Have these carrots. That's a good girl. There you go. Now we're good to ride out. Like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best idea. I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Looks here like they are. got the window fixed, though. Oh, our buddy got in trouble drinking and making bad decisions. Let's go drink to think about it. Find ourselves a little spot at the bar. Just one or two, right off? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's. He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? <laughs> Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. It's a nice way to put it. Pleasing some folk. Now get the hell out of here. Trying to be friendly. He's drunk. <laughs> Oh. Mm. <laughs> One or two, he said. Oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Oh, no. Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Wouldn't know. Can we ask the bartender? Let's ask the bartender. You know which way my friend went? You all right there, slugger? 
friend went upstairs. Ah, my man, thank you. All right, stop picking your nose there, bro. Hey, lady! You seen that fella I was with? Oh, sorry. Shoot. Can you help me out? No. Ready? He's not out back. Has anybody seen my boy? Is that? What are you doing, kid? <laughs> He's balancing a drink on his head. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why did you never marry? Why does he keep disappearing? Hey! Get away from me! Now, who's slippery little shit, ain't you? Come on! Is that Lenny? It is. Why do we always gotta get drunk and start fights? Alright, we're gonna try to defuse this. Leave the kill alone, you goddamn animals! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. We gotta defuse this. Without getting I in a said, fight. What did you say? Get off, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and now we're peeing. <laughs> All right, then, Arthur. Go ahead and finish up. Shake her once or twice, not too many more times than that. We're gonna find Lenny again. <laughs> Found you, Lenny! That's not Lenny. Lenny? <laughs> Maybe you should switch to water, my friend. Is this Lenny? That's not. <laughs> Stop slumping off on me! How many of you had, pal? That's not Lenny either. Everybody looks like Lenny. He was wearing blue, right? Lenny! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. What is happening? I need help, man. This is ridiculous. There you are, Lenny. Just go home, will you? Oh. Oh, so what are you doing? We found him. It's gonna keep slapping each other, I guess. going on I don't want to drown him <laughs> this is what these guys do for dude this is ridiculous falling around in the mud <laughs> come on <laughs> puking in the middle of the street We're getting arrested. Run. Run. Oh God. There's no way we're getting out of here, right? Just keep running. 
Yes. <laughs> we did some line dancing. We slapped each other a bunch. Tried to drown a guy. It's a good Saturday night. Now we're going to save Lenny and Micah. Could you imagine the hangover that he would have after a night like that? My goodness, dude. A quiet time has been completed. We need to figure out what we're doing next. We're right here next to Reverend Swanson. Got Thomas Downs over there. Micah Bell over there. And then Javier Escuela over there. Just gonna go to the nearest objective, I guess. Is our horse close? Damn. Horse. No. Stamina core is empty. So we're gonna have to eat up to get that back looking right. Um can drink some brandy. I don't know if that's our best idea though. We're looking for anything that does a lot to the stamina core. Kentucky bourbon. I'm gonna use this. All right. Except that's only temporary. That's not gonna solve our problems. What do we got going on here? Come on. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> oh. I got to step in and play That's some poker or what? Place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I'm down. Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. <laughs> He's crawling out of here. <laughs> Got drunk, woke Hello, up sir. to play some poker. This is Marvin. All right. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. Some good old Texas so, Hotem. We got a queen ten. And you two know each other anyway. With spades don't and clubs. Don't seem like a lot best of friends. If you don't mind me saying. We go a long turn. way back. I'll call now it. Now you're his chaperone. I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's. Drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, can we raise? Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. 
On the fourth day, going all in. turn water into whiskey. And I, don't I don't want to sit here and play poker all day. <laughs> They're both calling. <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. I was Respect hoping him again. I was hoping for a nine. In a bad time too. We'll see what happens. All I was, right, I was all going right. for that Just straight. Trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Well, we got two pair. Check. There you go. Hardly a big finale from me. Don't laugh. <laughs> Let's go, baby. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Come on. Give it that pot. And now your boy's gonna back out. I could sit here and play poker all day. I love poker, but uh Here we go. I wanna get I'll back give to you the that game. One. How do we leave? Exit. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. <laughs> sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? Excuse me, gentlemen. They're <laughs> looking under the table. Then he crawled out of there. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Y'all seen him? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him. Smelt him and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Appreciate you, brother. I look kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. What in the world is going on? Call my horse over here. Come on, buddy. Let's go, girl. Let's go find uh, yep. a rev. Hey, get your hands off him. Just say to me. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. All right, guys. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Here we go. Whoo! Swift kick to the face, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. You killed him. I'm going to get the law on you. No, you aren't. A witness for assault. I said stop, damn it. There we go. Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. We can threaten or we can beat him. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. We could also rob him right now if we wanted to. But I'm gonna oh, defuse shit. it. Got it? He better not go tell on me. Also, I just uh he's running Reverend, again. Get off the damn track! Oh Dude, what? I don't like that he's running because he might go report that crime, but we'll be long gone by the time he does. Come on, Frankie. Okay. You can fall off a of loose rocks? Dude, we might have twisted an ankle there. That could have been bad news. That is crazy realistic. Come on, my friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Come on, Frankie. Come with me. Got his. Oh, there's a. What have you done with your Dude, there's a there's a train coming. Like this place. Oh my God. Stay. Come on. Get your foot out of here. Twist Come on. Leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, 
<laughs> Don't Ours cry are now. Different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home. Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? But <sighs> he just passed out. Dude, this is ridiculous. Pick him up. Throw him on the horse. One for the road. And let's get out of here, Frankie. Appreciate you being there for me. Dude, that was... I thought we were going to have a reverend so suit. Sleepy. I thought that train was going to hit him and straight demolish him. That could have been very, very bad. This is like the first, uh, the first Uber ride, man. Somebody went out, had a few too many drinks, and now he's just being thrown on the back of a horse and brought home. He's still talking about poker. <laughs> man, that was some beginner's luck. I tell you what, coming in, getting a nice little two pair. Win in the hand, we only won like two dollars, but it was still still pretty cool. Oh shoot. They want us to actually hitch it. Hitch him up right here. Remove the reverend. And let's go drop him off back in bed. <laughs> What's up guys? Got got Good old Mr. Swanson here. He's not dead, don't worry. I was wondering when he'd show up. Just uh, feeling a little under the weather, I guess. You could say. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. All right, guys. So our next mission is going to be taking place somewhere in here. Thomas Downs. I'm assuming he's going to be inside the uh, inside the house here, paying him a visit. Ah, oh, it's locked. Actually, don't see anybody inside there, but I hear pig squealing. Might have something going on over here. Oh, he's right here. Derp. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <laughs> I want my money. Please, sir. I'm. I'll... Really? <laughs> Certainly, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir. Please. Well, I mean, you're gonna have to give me your money. Couple of hits should loosen him up some. If you want the money, you'll have to wait. Nah, I'm not the patient type. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You'd be good, this wouldn't be happening. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Well, who does? Your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Okay, see, like, do we have to take it that far that he's... can barely, like, stand or walk afterwards? Like, I understand roughing somebody up, but I feel like we could probably not be so ruthless.
Makes me feel kind of bad. Maybe we should have dismissed. I, I mean, it's our job. We're an outlaw. I wouldn't be good at being an outlaw, to be honest, dude. Like, it. Even in video games, I, I got heart for people. I don't want to hurt him. Well. We're coming back to camp empty-handed, unfortunately. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. <laughs> Those are the people who can't pay you back. It's not a very good business. All right, well, we completed that. Looks good to me. Let's go see, should we go meet up with, um, go see what Javier's up to? Dutch told us to try and rescue Sean from the bounty hunters holding him in Blackwater. All right, that's going to be kind of a fun mission. I'm looking forward to that. All right, boys, we are going to be crossing over into a wanted area. This is kind of intense. So these are basically like no-go zones. If we're seen out here, people will try to take us out to get the bounty. Lawmen will chase us down, that sort of thing. So we got to be careful, although we, we have to keep going. This is where our objective is. I don't know we... We honestly probably want to stay off the main road, right? Like if we go more to the left over here. We gotta go. You're okay, buddy. We got some coyotes on us. Just keep running, keep running, keep running. Our health is low. Give me a second. I gotta eat something. Provisions? Uh, what, a, what about some biscuits? We're okay. Are you freaking kidding me? We got like wolves and bad animals and stuff out here that are chasing us down. Meanwhile, we've got lawmen after us. Trying to take us out as well. The law is currently searching right now, it says. So that's, I guess, kind of how the the law system works in this game. The law is no longer pursuing you, but your crimes will be forgotten. If you're spotted by a lawman in a red area, you'll become wanted again. Dude, this is sketchy. We almost didn't make it out of there. There were like five or six guys all together. Is this our camp? I hope. Yeah, this is our camp. We made it, boys. Oh my goodness. Avoid them or pay off your bounty at a post office, okay. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. And a gentleman? Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So That'd be the time to strike when they're moving him. We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Dude, this is pretty intense. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, 
We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Come on. Best of luck with that, man. I feel like it's not gonna be that easy, but... We'll see. Alright, we gotta go find the boat. Let's make sure we're well equipped here. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. All right. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. <laughs> Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Yeah, I feel like this looks pretty obvious what we're doing here. They notice three guys and the horses just kind of slowly work at the coastline, always staying next to them. Pick up the pace a bit. It's a bit sketch. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Stay in line, little Frankie. Come on. And that's where they're stopping. Save them before they're able to get out and hey, they've pulled into shore. Take them somewhere. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. Where do we select binoculars from? In our items? Ah, okay. So, who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys. But I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. There we go, baby. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Huh? All right, let's do it. Hope there's nobody else down here. I know there were a bunch of lawmen out looking for us earlier, so. Can't be too sure. We're gonna get sneaky on him? We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. All right, here we go. Wait. Go for Stay it, brother. 
Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Okay, come on. Nerve. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. We I got this, if baby. I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Good night. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Yes, sir. Great job, brother. Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. Get a repeater out. Here Come we on. go. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Can we do it silently? Can I talk to Javier here and do it silently? The guy you got them from. Is he alive still? Yeah. Are we just gonna take him out? Come on, focus. Oh. Focus, okay. Come on! We need to get past these so I think we're just taking him out. Let's go. Considering he started yelling and running forward. Hold on a second. Get out, get some cover. Oh god. Not like that. Dead. Reload real quick. Come on, baby. Woo! Dude, some of those long range, like, we need to, actually, do we, we probably had it on the horse. No, he never gave it to us. I was going to say, I want that sniper rifle from the bear. What else we got here? More guys than I thought. Seriously though, like the the whole you have to wait until the circle closes all the way is rough. Ooh. That was a long shot. It's gonna fall all the way down the cliff of that rock. This DB no. Down but not out. No, he's out. We're good. Reload, push up. Down. Where's Charles? Quick. Got you, Charles. Let's get up there. Saved your life, buddy. Yeah, dude, seriously, like the it's not bad, I would say, but it, it's just it's challenging. It's different. You can't like quick quick scope people in this game. You can't aim in and immediately shoot. You gotta like really line up your shot and wait for that circle to completely close if you wanna hit your shots. I don't know, it's weird. Wait, these guys actually have really good stuff on them. Potent health cures and stuff, so... I want to make sure we loot them. Usually when we loot, like, scavengers and random outlaws out in the wild, they've got, like, 30 cents. These guys all have, like, two bucks on them. Platinum engraved belt buckles and stuff. This is, like, these guys are ballin'. I guess they're bounty hunters. Of course they've got a lot of money. Their job. Two more. Look out. We're at. Oh shoot! All right. Ah. Did not expect those guys to be there, but we saved them. Give me what you got, fam. Try to get all your oh, gold wedding ring. That's just rude, dude. To take that, but it's gonna be worth some money, baby. We're gonna sell that at the local convenience store and wouldn't go that far they're camped up this way come on that's all she wrote all right Here i'll take the left side charles you go right okay i guess let's Don't take these uh, 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 see what i mean dude if you aren't like completely still your shots missing most of the time
another guy right here. I'm trying to hit the shot. There it is. Oh, from the tower, I'll get him. No problem. Which cabin over here? He's weak. He's dead. He's weak. And nope, nope. You gotta wait. He's dead. Good. Whoo! Your boy is popping shots. We're starting to get the hang of it. Yes, sir. Good old Arthur Morgan. Got all kinds of guys up in the trees and stuff. What's up, bro? You just hanging out here or what? <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Didn't even break his fall. Just let him tumble. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know... Nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, you got a camp on. to loot. Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. I don't know, I feel like I want my boys to, uh... to kind of stay with me, you know what I want? You know what I mean? Like. Sitting here looting this thing by myself in an area where we're wanted wouldn't be yeah. good. Well, that was a job well done, boys. Saved a good friend, and uh, now we're back on the road. So we've got another mission over here, not too far away from where we just saved him in Fort Riggs. We are going to be going up here to help out Micah, which is uh, another guy. That's uh, not looking good. I think he was, he's been captured as well, right? We're gonna have to go break him out. I don't know, this should be interesting. What do we have here? Brand new town, Strawberry. Oh, we're, we're wanted here. Only for 10 bucks. Can we go to the post office? I don't really wanna run into any trouble, you know what I mean? I'm assuming this is the post office right here. Should we go into the post office and pay our bounty? About the great miracle of holy passion. Reach for your money? Yes. Nothing else. Don't make me hurt you. Whoa, we don't need to do this. Come on. Hello, sir. I'd like to pay my bounty, please. I'll just take care of that record for you directly. That's kind of cool, dude. And now we are officially a free man. We can go anywhere we want except for Blackwater. Blackwater is still going to be off limits, but now we can freely go through here and not have anybody messing with us, which is going to be well worth it. However, we do need to find out what's going on with old dude in the jail. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. 
Sounds like we're about to do some illegal stuff, and we probably shouldn't have paid our bounty. Let me out of here, you maggots! Well, that's him. That is most definitely him. Arthur! Arthur! What's up, brother? Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people. Want to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. What on earth are we gonna do? That's the question. I do. Find a way to free Micah. I mean, I'm pretty sure we have dynamite. We've got one stick. You might want to step back a bit. Maybe that steam gun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh! What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Well, I knew you were scum. Moment I laid eyes on you. We're wanted again, boys. Damn it. That did not last very long at all. It's times like this that I remember that I'm an outlaw and I gotta start acting like one. We shouldn't be paying bounties, we should be increasing them. We're shooting anybody and everybody that we can. I'm not gonna shoot horses though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you. He's down. You have finally lost your damn mind. Keep moving on there, goddamn maniac. We should have left you to hang. We're okay. Got him. Let's go. I really want to loot these guys because I'm we sure they got good stuff, go but. They got something of mine. I ain't leaving without. <sighs> we should probably switch to our pistol in these situations. Because I think we can shoot a lot faster. I can see that. Hell's coming for you. That dude Let's just go. took four shots to Where die. Are we, going? Oh, more uh, we really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Uh, like I said, I need to see someone. <laughs> we just okay. shot up an entire get town, dude. Here. After paying ten dollars to remove our bounty, that was so stupid. What's he got? A girlfriend or something? It ain't Jimmy Micah. It's North. Mm. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Wow. Hello, Maddie. It was about a girl. I saw that bitch is a dead man. It was about a girl and he killed her. Stay down, bud. We gotta be real careful here. There's a lot of people. I keep wanting to loot these guys, but I don't think it's worth it. Got him. Got him. We're good. I don't want to get out of here, yeah, but you gotta take some of these people out first. See the horses? Come on, follow me. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Where's my horse? Now you want to get out of here? We could use that eye, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to save it because it takes a while to get back. Got him. This is 
so insane. Look at that horse's eyes. Completely wide open, just terrified at what was going on. Nice. Homie, how many shots are you gonna take? That was insane. And that reminds me that we're an outlaw. Shooting, Morgan. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? <laughs> Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Dude, look at this storm coming in. That's pretty intense. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> Why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! So we got the Compendium Offhand Holster. That has to carry two sidearms at once and dual wield them. All right, that's actually pretty dope. I'm happy with that. Let's get 